Hey there people, this is Ferdinand 007 and I bring you a replay of Company of Heroes 2. As usual, I play as the Wehrmacht and together I'm playing with Anarchy who's playing as the Oberkommando and the Kilo Priest who's also playing Wehrmacht. We are fighting against two Amer uh, no, two Russians and one American. So I don't really remember what was our strategy but as far as I believe we're planning to move right into the middle immediately and capture these points. But I'm not sure, but as far as you can see, uh, Anarchy is already moving up his uh, supply half track. Killer Priest was using mostly assault grenadiers. Actually, let's check. I don't even know what his doctrine, so let's see. I think it's the mechanized doctrine or something like that. Yeah, he has Assault, Grenadiers, Stug, Support Gun, Tiger. Let's check Anarchy as well. Well, Anarchy didn't choose anything, alright. Well, ah, and here's the first combat. Where is it? Ah, here it is. <laughs> Sorry. American rear echelon units. Well, they were getting overwhelmed there with the combined might of Anarchy and Kilobri. Kilo Beast, oh my goodness. Kilo Priest. In the meantime, I'm at last sending some units to the north. Fighting rear echelon units as well. Doing well, they pushed them back already, and Anarchy is setting up his off track. So, ah, here it is. Kilo Priest got a MG, also, I got one as well. Big combat. Uh, Russian MG, I so hate that. Ah, there goes a grenade. Wow. We have a fresh nice. I think the American will be pushed back here by Anarchy. Yeah, he's marching forward. His Sturm Pioneers at close range are really deadly. Yeah, he's pulling back. <laughs> I tried to send him some help. But it was kind of too late. He already dealt with them. And at the south, the Soviets are setting up MGs. Yeah, kind of typical. I so hate it when they set up just a thousand MGs everywhere just gonna stay there. Ah, Kilopriest got a motor team as well. Sweet. And here's Anarchy. Getting engaged by the yeah, free MGs, oh my goodness. I seriously dislike it that the Soviets basically get a light vehicle, basically that M5 half track or whatever, which cannot be damaged by regular rounds. And yet the Germans don't have that kind of vehicle. I really dislike it. And uh, here comes the MG. We have been granted access to superior arms and soldiers. Oh, yeah. Here's the freaking MG. Whoa, and a lot of numbers of Americans. Yeah, a lot of them. I had to pull back. That was like a little bit too much. Uh, 
Here's anarchy. Engaging them. Didn't I have an MG somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. I should have sent it to help him. But the mortar is dealing with the damn Americans. Yeah, sending in only one Grenadier squad, but yeah, I got MG42 on it. There's my scout car, which will give us quite a good edge. Of course, if they yeah, here is freaking this free. Damn Russians and their MGs, so hate it. I'm gonna lose my scout card to that Zis. But at least the Russians were pushed out of that building. Now we are gaining back that territory. South, however, is still filled with Russian MGs though. Another rush of conscripts. Nice. And the Russians are getting more mortars. I find it interesting that the Russian mortars are, I don't know, like. They seem a lot better than the German mortars, but when you basically get veterancies for your German mortars, then they can become quite good, actually. What's this? I am. Cool, appreciate mortaring the place. And the enemy's mortaring me. Your stupid ass mortars. Ah, uh, grade 120. That's that's not really good. Yeah, we lost it. Oh, I have a lot of American forces here. Big blob. Oh, yeah, he was moving together with the freaking Russian and his freaking shock troopers. Damn bastards. They overwhelm me with their so called great numbers. Where are these guys even going? Oh, yeah. Taking out my MG. Yeah. And if you had to pull back as well, shock trooper spam. Yeah, 
They didn't manage to gather up much forces, but better than nothing. Ah, yes. Kilchrist is assisting me here. Run! Oh my goodness, that was really stupid though. Well, they're pulling back. Here comes Kill Priest's uh, half track. Well, at least their numbers got diminished. Let's see what's happened down here. Nothing. The shock troopers got pushed back, slowly gaining back the lost territories. Let's see what are the Russians doing. Yeah, they're getting back their forces, so do the Yankees. Yeah. And he got back his units, well, some of his forces. And managed to regain some of the lost territories. The bastards. We fight bravely for the Reich. The enemy is down to 200 points. <laughs> yeah. We kind of did have an advantage here. Now that we have uh, gained the middle. We basically were able to set up some defenses, but yeah, wow, this bunker is almost destroyed. And I got my first Panzer IV. There we go. Anarchy has a lot of population. Kilopris has a lot of fuel. Let's see. Did Anarchy... No, he still could have called in a lot of units. Ah, yes. The Russians. And there's their as is free. I still dislike the Russian uh, MGs. Well, at least the good thing is that they don't have that uh, of a wide range like the Germans do. And here comes the freaking blob again blob of Russians hordes of them moving up and they will die mm. yeah PPSHs and flamethrowers are kinda good at cross range in my Panzer IV. Yeah, I do. Kilopriest is trying to flank him. I find it weird that my MG was not shooting at them. <laughs> nah, that's right, retreat. But it's there, yeah. The adversary has slipped to a hundred points. It's still I don't like their mortars. The Russians have too much stuff which have such a big ass fucking range that is just impossible. And the Ober Commando's um uh, walking stuck. I I really don't like the way how it's uh, basically shooting. The way how it was in Company of Heroes 1 that it basically just shot at a certain circle not in lines. It was a lot better. Yeah. 
Anarchy's flank emplacement is getting shot. We're winning the battle. It seems the purple guy decided to move up as well. But Kilo Priest has his support gun. And also we got a bunker. Yeah. They only neutralized it. And more Russians. Americans. Actually, these are only Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he lost his stoop free. And they're pulling back, wow. Here comes the horde of shock troopers. I'm engaging him with my Panzer IV. Yeah, this is gonna be the moment when I'm gonna basically trap the shock troopers. Here comes Killer Priest as well, assisting me. And yes, there it is. There's no way they can escape now. <laughs> Kill a priest called in a tiller strike on them. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was nice. Let's see. What else is going on here? Yeah, not much. It's already been decided. We still had two victory points and we were winning. The Americans are sending in their almighty forces, but it's not gonna matter anything because they're gonna lose their units. I mean, they're gonna lose, not their units, but they're gonna lose the match! And... It's almost over. They're sending their units, I don't know where. Oh, tell you strike. Oh, incendiary. Yeah, they were trying to attack Anarchy's units, but... It was too late. The match was over. I don't know, but uh, our enemies were basically using a lot of mortars, and I really dislike people who are using a lot damn shitload of mortars and MGs as well. Ah, that was their T-70. Well, they didn't get the chance to basically call in tanks, but they could have. Especially the Soviet one. Wow, he had a lot of resources. I'm surprised though that they didn't call in any tanks, only that T-70. Well, this was a really good match, good cooperation with my teammates, and see you next time guys!